Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to pair your PS3 controller with any Android device. Well, not any, this uh, application is only compatible with certain versions, but uh, you shouldn't have a problem if you have a newer version. I'm assuming it's gingerbread and up, but I've only tried this on Jelly Bean. So, um, yeah, it should work on other devices. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So, uh, this application is called Six Axis, and I should say in the beginning that you do need to have a rooted device to be able to. Uh, sync up your PS3 controller with your Android device. So you have to be rooted, but you don't have to have any like special ROMs on it. Just uh, as long as it's rooted, it should work fine. So uh, to begin, you download this program called the Six Axis Controller, and you, that could be in the, uh, found in the Play Store. It's a dollar ninety nine, but if you're like me and you got your Nexus Seven tablet, uh, you should get a twenty five dollar uh, Google Play card with it. So it was practically free for me since I didn't necessarily have to pay for it. So after you downloaded it, uh, we're going to go over here and you're going to have to download a program on your computer and that's the 6-axis pairing tool. So this basically uh, pairs your PS3 controller with your tablet. But uh, what you need to do is you open up the program, or the application I should say. And uh, on the bottom here, let me get a closer view of that. This is the yeah, right there. It's focused. This is the local Bluetooth address, which uh, you have to type in to the pairing tool. So I'm going to come over here. The pairing tool looks like that, and that's really all it is. So right now it says no device is found, meaning that I have not plugged in my PS3 controller to the computer. So I have my USB cord right here. And I'm just going to plug that in. And... Oops, attempting to install drivers. We don't really need that right now. But there we go. There we go. So as you can see, it's on, and the PC has recognized it. And over here, as you can see, it's already synced up uh, with my uh, tablet. And um, to, if you want to change it to a different tablet for whatever reason, different device, all you have to do is type in this local Bluetooth address that you find here into this and hit the update button. That is really all you have to do. You just type in the local Bluetooth address of the device you're trying to pair with. And you can find the link in the description to download this uh, pairing tool. And uh, when you have the application open, let me move the controller out of the way and bring this a little closer. All you have to do is change the IME, which is pretty much the input method. And you go over here to 6-axis controller. Uh, click Start. Let me unplug this. See, as you can see, it says listening uh, for controllers. So you go ahead and turn on the PS3 controller by uh, clicking the uh, PS button, and you will feel a light vibration, meaning that it has synced. And it says right there, client one connected, battery status full. That's pretty cool. It tells you the battery. So I'm going to come back out, and we're going to go and uh, we're going to, I guess, start up a game. Oop, don't mind that. So let's go here to SNES Droid. Super Nintendo and we're gonna load up some Donkey Kong now uh, in these uh, emulators you can actually go into the settings and uh, this should be here configure uh, configure uh, key gamepad input and you can go in there and you can actually here you could choose the 6-axis controller and you can set the buttons for a respectable controller you could actually hook up multiple uh, controllers to the tablet or Android device. I recommend a tablet if you're going to be playing emulators. And you should be good to go with multiple controllers, multiplayer, fun stuff. So uh, I already have a loaded state here. And let's see if I could get both of these uh, within the screen. So there you go. We got little Diddy Kong back there. And uh, I'm going left and right. And as you can see, there's almost no lag. Uh, it's, it's really playable. And let me see if I can get through a level here. Okay, okay, we're going. Ooh. Well, <laughs> uh, a good attempt, good attempt. That is not the lag, that is me being a, a noob. But yeah, as you can see, it's really responsive. There's really no latency, it's perfectly playable. Okay, I'm gonna get this tire. This time I'm gonna get the tire. 
Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, you know what? I think that proves the point. Just to show that it works with other emulators, I'll load up something else. Uh, over here I have the Sega. And uh, here we go. Let's play some Streets of Rage. And yes, I already have this set up through the emulator to I map this button, so should be good to go here. Old school, you actually have to press start, you can't just push any button. If you want to know, I have it mapped as uh, X is A, uh, B is circle, and C is triangle. So here we go. Okay, of course it's an intro. Streets of Rage. This is, wow, this is really old school. But here we go. Let's go find some bad guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wow. That's embarrassing. I am really noobing it up. Oh, I grabbed him. Punch him. Do something. I really forgot how to play. I was hitting square. I did not realize that until now. Kick him. Kick him. But you get the idea. Works very well. Oh, wow. See that? See what I just did there? See what I just did? Do my jump kick with my jump kick. Oh, I'm pushing square again. It's not a map button. Yeah. Anyways, this is for demonstration purposes. Uh, as you can see, works completely fine. I push start and it pauses. Awesome, right? So there you have it. Uh, if you have your rooted device, I highly recommend you get this application. Even for $2, it's completely worth it. And once again, that application is six axis. And when you're done playing, uh, you could just hit stop, it turns off the Bluetooth, and it disconnects the device so you don't waste any more battery. And there it is, disconnected. Oh, actually, I don't think I got, got that in frame. Yeah, it turns it off for you. It's really cool. Uh, I actually use this a lot in school between break and class. So yeah, hope this was helpful. A must-get app for any rooted device if you play games on it, that is. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you guys need help. See ya.